toe's so excited and it's sticking out all the way to the side over there. That's, you know, you're doing something right with it. Hey, what's up, you guys? Shortimus Prime here doing another Marvel Select figure review on the Marvel Select Falcon from the Captain America The Winter Soldier movie. If you can't find this figure at your local comic book shop, you can get it at Big Bad Toy Store. Big, big, big. Get your big, badass toys at BigBadToyStore.com. Click the link in the description below. Oh, man, I'm excited for this figure. Oh, I've been waiting for this guy to come out for a long, long time. This is actually the closest thing to a six-inch scale Falcon that we're going to get, so I'm really, really pumped about that. Unless he appears in an Avengers movie, I hope he appears in an Avengers movie or something else later on. Probably Captain America 3 at least, right? Anyway, I digest. Uh, we have this really cool picture of a falcon, and then we get this Star Trek uh, shape right here, with the red. I think that looks pretty cool. These are bringing, you know, just a little bit of red into this. And we have Sam Wilson right over here on the side. Very, very cool. It's actually a painting. I thought it was a photograph, but I think that's a painting. And on the back, we have this little bio on Falcon, and it talks about how it was sculpted by Gentle Giant Studios. And on the side, not much going on. All right, man, that's enough packaging talk. Let's get to it and crack this thing open. So here's Falcon out of the packaging, and I gotta say, I really like the paint sculpt on this figure. I do have some gripes about the figure, of course, but overall, I think it's a pretty cool looking figure, and I'm very, very happy that Diamond Select has made this, especially because we didn't get one for the Marvel Legends line or Marvel Universe. Well, no, there is one for the Marvel Universe line, but, you know, I'm mostly a 6-inch uh, scale collector, so I'm really happy to see this, uh, even if it's in 7-inch scale. I really like the wingspan, pretty large wingspan over here. Unfortunately, he doesn't come with any weapons, and the only accessory that he actually comes with is a standard issue base that we saw with the other Captain Amer with both Captain America figures. The one that came with Falcon is in the middle, so yeah, you can get some kind of a shield display thing going over here. Actually, that wouldn't be too bad. Now, I think the face sculpt on this figure is pretty good. Uh, the head sculpt does bother me just a little bit with what they did with the hair over here. I feel like they didn't paint it black enough. It's kind of a lighter color than I think it should be, and plus, it's not really sculpted like black people's hair. It's kind of like it's straightened hair slicked backwards more than, you know, having the kinks to the hairs, you know what I'm saying? I don't know, I'm just, you know, I'm not an expert on hair or anything, but I don't, that just looks a little off to me, just with the color, and the way it's sculpted, it looks like it's slicked back. How the goggles came out, I like the shiny reflective paint, and I think the likeness does look like Anthony Mackie, I think that's pretty impressive, even the mustache, and, and all the facial features and everything, so I think that looks pretty good. And then one of the more impressive parts of the figure are the way they sculpted these straps over here, and this nice paint shading that we have going on on his shirt and stuff. I think that looks great. All these buckles and all the silver and gold paint applications look fantastic. I really like it a lot. Looks pretty good. Nice musculature and skin tone. The gloves look pretty nice. I noticed that they did not give him trigger fingers and he does not come with pistols. So I kind of wish he had trigger fingers so I can give him Deadpool's guns. But of course at the same time it wouldn't have made any sense to give him trigger fingers if he did not come with pistols. So you can use your imagination. I have a Deadpool gun right here. And uh, there we go. So no need for imagination. We have him holding it right there. And it looks a little strange but you know from farther away it doesn't look too bad. I think the camo pants came out looking pretty good, and we have a nice American flag right over there. Happy early 4th of July to you guys, by the way. And we have a little bit of wear right here on the upper hips, or on the thighs area. That's just from, you know, the, the articulation going against there. We have these big, bulky knee pads. I like these gold buttons right here on the shins, holding that together. And then the boots came out looking pretty good, too. Really like that. Unfortunately, I'm, I'm unhappy with this little piece right here on the back. That really prohibits the ankle from moving downward, which is kind of a big deal because he's a flying character and now you can't get his feet pointing downward. So it looks always just a little off having his feet flat while he's hovering in the air and stuff. I don't really like that, but it's sculpted pretty well. But I wish, you know, I don't know, I might just cut this down or something or dremel this off. I don't know yet. But yeah, I like how they sculpted uh, the pant wrinkles right there and the knee joint. I think that looks pretty good. There's some nice silver paint applications on this back support piece, I guess. It just goes right over, over his butt. But that thing does limit a little bit of the waist articulation, which I'll talk about later on. But this backpack, once again, I think they did a really cool job on this. I really like it a lot. Nice sculpting, nice paint applications. Looking at the front side of it, you can see the silver paint apps right there. When you open the figure up, the wings are not connected, so you can just pull them out like this, so you can see how it plugs in right over there, and just plug it right in like that. So you can have them posed with or without the wings, either way, and the wings came out looking great. And they look pretty accurate to how I remember them looking in the movie, so I think that's pretty good. Like I said, I really like the wingspan, and we get a little bit of red in there, reminiscent of his comic version. Looks pretty cool. Like I said, I really like the size of the wings, and I think they look pretty nice. I really like them. 
Now, this being a gentle giant studio sculpt, I'm a little disappointed in the articulation. Lately, we've been getting a little bit cooler articulation from gentle giant. Uh, first off, the head doesn't really move up too much, and that's frustrating on a flying character. I think there should be like some kind of rule that if it's a flying character, the head has to move up, and I try to move it upwards, and uh, it's not working. Guess you can half it. Nope, it just wants to pop off. Yeah, it's pretty tricky. It can move down a little bit, though, and you can rotate his head side to side, and you get a little bit of neck pivot right there, too. His shoulders move upward. He has these big shoulder pads, but it doesn't limit the articulation, so you can move it upward like that, and you can't move them forward as well. He has an elbow that bends in at 90 degrees, and it rotates at the elbow. He has wrists that move side to side, and you can hinge them downward. They can't move upward. They can only move down. He has a waist swivel that only bends that much. Like I said, this back support piece right here does limit the that articulation so you can only move it side to side that much the hip joints are a little limited too you can move them outward and you can move them forward only that much they, they don't move up more than that and unfortunately there is no upper thigh swivel so yeah and then he gets double jointed knees which is cool so I'm glad to see double jointed knees and then his ankles don't move down as I'd mentioned earlier you can move them up but he does have beautiful ankle pivot and the figure does have peck holes at the bottom of its feet so this being a Marvel select figure he stands at about seven and a half inches tall and then checking out his wingspan, uh, it goes at about 14 or 13 inches across. One thing I also wanted to mention too is that these wings are not very heavy, so the figure is not very back heavy. So he can stand straight up and down. He doesn't have to lean, you know, forward or anything like that. I, I really like that this is not a back heavy figure. And here's Falcon compared to the Marvel Select Disney Store exclusive unmasked Captain America from the Winter Soldier. Uh, Falcon stands just a little bit taller than Cap. I think these guys stand at about the same height. I don't really know. There's not a huge height difference over there. It doesn't really bother me. And then here he is next to the Marvel Legends Falcon, the regular version, and yeah, the costumes do not look similar at all to each other, but I don't really have a problem with that. But this guy does have the sculpted hair that I was expecting on this one. See what I mean in the hair sculpts? This looks more like black dude hair than this over here. That looks like Shardimus Prime hair. And here's Falcon next to the Marvel Legends Big Time Letdown Spider-Man. So with just a little bit of effort, you can make this a very cool display piece. I like how this looks. I have a Marvel Legends stand right here plugged into the backpack, and then the Deadpool pistols right in his hands, looking right there. Uh, Gets a little wobbly hanging on this thing, but yeah, you can get him into some cool poses, you know I like the figure and there's another pose right there. So anyway, I hope you guys liked my video Please hit the like button if you did leave a comment go to marvelousnews.com check out my photo gallery I've got a bunch of pictures taken of this guy uh, along with the Captain America figure I'm actually liking this figure more and more as I pose him around and I've taken more pictures So yeah, and leave a comment over there to participate in the 50,000 subscribers contest and do not forget to subscribe I'll catch you guys later. Peace Whoosh.